Hi folks, Max from GalaxyNote3Root.com and today we're going to go ahead and upgrade uh, from a rooted to Android 4.3. I actually have a custom ROM here, uh, but it doesn't matter. And uh, Android 4.4.2 KitKat official TouchWiz just came out last week. Um, at one point you may have to upgrade to your KitKat TouchWiz um, because you may have to upload a bootloader. Now if you take the OTA, the over the air software update, you're going to lose root and never going to be able to install root again. So don't take the OTA update and I'm going to uh, show you how to keep root and then uh, install the stock ROM without Nox and also if you, um, there's actually two versions you can install, Odex and Deodex. If you install the Deodex version, you'll also be able to get uh, Wi-Fi tethering working uh, out of the box. So I recommend the Deodex version. Go ahead and download that, and also go ahead and download uh, the latest, uh, latest, uh, what is it? Get the latest uh, safe strap. And uh, let me go ahead and show you that here. If you go to My Files um, and go to Download Folder, you can download it straight to your phone, um, or you can copy it from your computer after downloading it on your computer. Uh, I got the Deodex, the NC2, that's the KitKat update. This is the rooted version, the Deodex version. And also you'll need the latest KK uh, KitKat safe strap, all right? Uh, before we do this, do make a backup of everything just in case. Um, this will, we'll be have to, uh, we'll be have to, we'll be wiping uh, data and doing a factory reset. So I did a backup using titanium backup. Uh, it's not going to erase your personal files and videos. Um, so let's go ahead and do this once you have those two files. And also you'll need also another, uh, the bootloader file, I think, for the KitKat. Uh, download to your computer. Make sure you have a, co a Windows computer available with Odin, or you can use uh, VMware with Mac or Linux. Um, so go ahead and reboot. And again, this is only for those of you with Android 4.3. If you have a, a Verizon Note 3 with KitKat, that means you can't even do this because you're probably not even rooted. Um, let's go ahead and restart. And what we're going to do is, when it reboots, we're going to get into SafeStrap by hitting the uh, recovery button. All right. And basically, we're going to install the Deodex uh, stock rooted ROM um, in the, the stock slot. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Uh, we'll do have to do a white factory reset. Um, you may be able to do it without doing that, but um, I don't actually recommend it. Um, if you're on a TouchWiz ROM like this one, you may be able. Oh, you may be able to do it. Oops, I hit continue. I think I didn't hit recovery. Sorry. Uh, let's do that again. And hit the button on the left. I got, I got real used to hitting the continue button, so that's why I hit that button. But go ahead and hit recovery instead. Uh, as I show you here. And it's really hot here in California today. Uh, we're like 95 today. Today is April 30th. And where I live near uh, the coast here, oh, let's go here. Uh, boot options, make sure you're on the ROM slot one, or stock ROM slot, there we go. I'm on slot, uh, stock ROM, right? You should be on there. And you'll have to do a wipe data factory reset. Now this is gonna erase all your apps, app settings. Um, so I hope before you do this, make a backup ROM. Um, that might be a good idea. Or, or also use Titanium Backup app to back up your apps and app data. And I'm going to go ahead and do a factory reset. And when that's done, we're going to go to home, go to install, and then go down and find the, the stock rooted ROM, uh, which is the uh, HLTVZW underscore root underscore deodex nc2.zip. You can also install the Odex version, but the Odex version contains um, the, the Wi Fi hotspot unlock. So I suggested you that one. Go ahead and install this. And once this is installed, we're going to reboot into uh, Odin download mode and we're going to go ahead and flash the uh, files needed for KitKat. I think it's the bootloader. Um, and uh, we should be done after that, and it should boot into the latest KitKat. Um, this way, you'll be still rooted, um, and you won't lose root. By uh, and also, you'll be able to experience what's coming up with the latest Android 4.4.2 KitKat TouchWiz. I've seen it before with um, the other variants of Note 3, um, but for those of you who haven't seen it, you can go ahead and try this or this week's ROM of the week for sure. Um, if you're still on 4.4.2 KitKat, if you're already on 4.4.2 KitKat because you just bought the Note 3, um, then you're probably out of luck at this point. 
Um, just give it another week or two. There should be a way to root. Um, you know, it's always an exploit that developers find uh, when Verizon locks it down, locks the bootloader. And uh, that's unfortunately uh, sad. And, you know, that's what makes people boycott your products. And I, I personally don't want to buy any more lock bootloaders. So with the S5, I didn't even buy the Verizon version yet. I'm going to just wait till the bootloader is unlocked or somebody figures out how to root it. Anyway, that's done. Go to home, don't reboot yet. Go to reboot here and go to reboot to download there. And this will boot you straight into download. And then go ahead and connect a micro USB 2.0 cable from your phone to your computer. And let's go to our computer. And this is actually the XCA thread I'm uh, going off. Um, thanks to Beanstown uh, 106, he's been making some excellent ROMs. Uh, let's go ahead and go to go and find go download this file here. Let me go ahead and close all of this up. Sorry, I should have done this before I did stuff. And uh, here we go. Go ahead and download uh, Odin v 185zip If you unzip it, you'll get Odin 3 program with all the stuff you need. Um, leave that alone for now. And you'll have to download the N900VKK firmware tar.md5.zip. Now it's in a zip format, go ahead and double click and extract all the files or you can use your favorite unzipping software. Um, there we go, you can use like WinZip or whatever. So that's the new firmware we're going to go ahead and install. It's not actually firmware, I think it's like a bootloader um, that you need to actually boot the uh, KitKat's uh, ROM there. So go to Odin, go ahead and run Odin there. Say yes. And you should get this yellow highlighted comp sign. If you don't see this, go ahead and install Samsung USB drivers. Um, you can also use Odin 3v3.07. You should choose AP if you see that. Or if you're using this version, go ahead and choose PDA like I did here. And go ahead and find that firmware where, wherever you unzipped it to. And I've got it unzipped it to here. Go ahead and hit open. And go ahead and hit start. And this will flash. Oh, we can check it out. So it is a bootloader. Um, you can see end modem, new modem there. Um, you can see all the different parts that it's flashing. And basically, the bootloader and modem. And uh, we're doing this um, without losing root. We're basically flashing the stock ROM. Uh, and this should get us on the latest KitKat with root. One good thing is that, uh, let me go ahead and change the camera angle real quick. Now, your phone should be rebooting. Now, one good thing about having this in the first place, uh, we do have a rooted uh, version of the KitKat running on the Note 3, uh, which means the developers can possibly um, do a uh, reverse engineering and find a way to root um, you know, a stock Android 4.4.2 KitKat on the Verizon Note 3, which there isn't a way yet. I think there's a bounty right now, almost about $5,000, which is a lot of money, um, which keeps going up. I don't know. I wonder if they pay in Bitcoin, so that will be kind of cool. Anyway, um, this is a new KitKat, and it should be all booting up. And uh, the last part, we're going to go ahead uh, and try to um, install the latest version of SafeStrap for... Um, you probably want to be on the latest version of SafeStrap. And uh, I think this uh, actually removed SafeStrap, as you can see. So we're going to go ahead and reinstall the latest version of KitKat uh, SafeStrap, so you can go ahead and install new custom ROMs. And I'll be back when this completely boots. It should take a while because we just did a factory reset. I'll be back. So it is almost done here and it actually just booted and it's doing the setup wizard. Let me go through this real quick. And there we go. I'll be back when this is done. All right, I booted into the KitKat without losing my root. Everything working. And let me go to about phone here, 4.4.2, uh, all right, great job if you got to this point. Um, open up SuperSU, make sure everything is working. Uh, there we go, no errors, um, you're good to go. Now let's go ahead and install the safe strap. Um, if you did download the APK earlier, uh, and I'll show you that I didn't lose any of my files, hopefully. <laughs> there we go, no I didn't. Uh, there we go, all my files are there, I just lost my settings. and. Um, uh, apps and app settings, which I can restore with uh, Titanium Backpack. I'm going to go ahead and click on the latest safe strap here. I'll go to settings, hit on other sources, say yes.
install and open SafeStrap and we'll install the latest version of SafeStrap and we'll boot into SafeStrap and you may want to make a backup ROM in SafeStrap just in case, you know, um, if you want to. Grant, all right, that's a lot of stuff. Uh, let's go install recovery. All right, and installed. Let's go ahead and reboot into recovery. Oops. It says install. It says not active for some reason. Um, I think it should change soon. Let me open it up again. I'm not sure what happened there. I might have pressed the buttons a little bit too quick. Okay, let's just uninstall it real quick because it says it's not active. Try uninstalling and then go ahead and install it again. It might be because the old safe straps on there. It's all confusing. It should say active. Ooh, it's not saying active. All right, let me go ahead and reboot to recovery anyways, and it should work. Reboot. Okay, let me just go ahead and manual reboot. Make sure safe straps working. It should be working, maybe just a bug. Um, and as long as we see the safe strap screen, oh, there we go, it's working. If you see the custom, it should be working. Um, so give it a second here, and we should see a button for to the recovery, which we'll press and verify that we have safe strap working. Uh-oh. Ouch. Ooh, did work. All right, all right. It was actually just rebooting. You should actually get the options. Um, so SafeStrap's working. I'm on the latest KitKat version of SafeStrap. Should be all good to go. And uh, you should be able to see the options here now. Because I use the SafeStrap app to reboot. So what happened is it put a flag that goes straight into recovery. That's what I'm thinking. But you should see SafeStrap here now. There you go. Now you see it. I'm going to go ahead and hit continue here um, since I want to boot into the ROM. And yeah, from here on, um, I guess you can try different KitKat ROMs, uh, custom ROMs. Um, and also you'll be able to uh, enjoy the latest KitKat, which isn't too much different from uh, Jelly Bean. Uh, but you know, you should be able to enjoy the latest, uh, you should be able to enjoy the latest of the um, KitKat stuff. So definitely, there you have it. Anyway, thanks guys for watching this video. As always, if you have a Note 2, don't forget to subscribe to my email list at uh, galaxynote3root.com. And uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel at youtube.com slash galaxynote3root. Uh, and you can reach me on Twitter, Facebook, or Google+. Twitter is probably the best, best way, because uh, Facebook, you have to be a friend, I think, to send me messages on Google+. Um, Google Hangouts, I have too many requests, and I just can't get through. I have like 20 requests for Hangouts, so I just can't uh, catch up. But Twitter, I always get back to you, so check me out on Twitter. And I'll see you guys soon. As always, uh, stay high on... And dry.